wash my hand with two things. One is a good little antibacterial soap, and also you gotta keep some hand sanitizer too. So I've been washing my hands several times, you know, throughout. You know, how Jay Z said, as you should. All right. So give it another little sprinkle with this little seasoning right here. And you know, I ain't gonna give up all the secrets and whatnot, but I can tell you it's real, it's real basic. You know what I mean? Obviously there's some salt and pepper in there and whatnot. And then you can get jazzy and put it on whatever else you want on it. Okay. So now obviously, big pan, right? Another thing, rinse my hands again. Another thing what you wanna do with this, or at least what I do, is I take a little cooking spray. Olive oil spray, I'll mess with the other stuff. You know what I mean? And you all um, just do the bottom a little bit just to give it a little, you know, give it a little base. Bomb. Yes, yes. Now you got your turkey in here ready to rock and roll. Now at another time, I'll show y'all another technique because there's a lot of other stuff that you could do to this turkey at this point. But right now, this, this stuff is just seasoned up. Bang, bang, cut them board. Rinse that off. But there's a whole bunch of stuff that you could do at this point, right, to this, to this turkey. So for instance, if you look in the back and you see this old cavity right here, right? Easily, um, what, I, what I normally do with a turkey or a chicken, I will sit it up on its legs like it's real life, and then you just pop one of these in there. So if I wanted to do that right now, I could also do that with this, with this turkey, is pop a beer in there. Of course, you have to first crack it, drink a little out of it, or pour a little out, and that just keeps your thing moist, and they call that, you know, a drunken chicken or whatever. I ain't trying to give out no advertisement, so we put that over here with that. All right, so, Right at this point now, we got this whole thing pretty, pretty ready to go. A little more sprinkle like that. And now I'm gonna just hit it up with some more basics. A little black pepper over the top. All right. And really and truly, that sucker right there is ready to go because it's all about the spices that I've been wanting. Now, of course, at the same time, we also have some stuffing. Now, I didn't want to um, bore y'all with the whole cooking of the stuffing, but y'all can see that. Oh, it's more stainless steel. Y'all can see that right there. This is just some basic cranberry stuffing. And what, what we do with that is, we stuff. Huh? Stuff that turkey up. And like I said, that's cranberry stuffing, so I got little little bits and pieces of, 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 of cranberry goodness in it, all right? And I don't like to stuff the turkey all the way full, right? Because I, I throw some on the back side of it to get some like baked stuff, because I like that too. Bomb. Okay. So that's pretty much that. And now too, if y'all notice, all that's done real quick, all right? And then once again, we keep with the rinse, rinse, wash. I should show y'all the cleanup too because the cleanup is just as important as the cooking. And if y'all don't even see it. Your boy can cook and clean quicker than most people can just cook. All right, so this is what we're looking at right now for a turkey, all right? Now, I might do a little something else, hit it with another little splash of this right here. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what that is, but if you got good eyes, you might can see. Um, but you know, we just hit it up like that and let it do what it do, baby. So now at this point, this stuff is about to go into the oven. All right, nothing special. And uh, I get back at y'all, you know, with the finished product so you can see what it look like. But you see that right there. Skabang, 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 except for this right here. You know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. You know what I mean? We want this turkey to be kosher, so we're just going to give it a little circumcision. Skabang! All right. 
and we in the money. So this puppy about ready to go into the oven, and we're gonna do it like that. Now, I'll see you back in a minute. Hey, the ghetto gourmet, holla. Okay, so now it's been about about that time, about three hours, leaving that turkey in the oven, getting it nice and succulent. And I'm about to do the reveal for y'all. You know, this is the end. You know, I started off simple, just turkey, really. You know, I had to do too much. All right, now. Let's see if we can't get the whole, the full spectrum on this right here. Let me see if I can't do me a little, little camera work on that smoke job. All right, so you see here, see what you're looking at there? Look at that. Now that's, it's a little, oh, there we go. It's a little dark in here. But you see that right there? That's, that's about turkey perfection, all right? And now what that is on it too, that's a jerk sauce. So that's, that's really a jerky, all right? My famous jerky, Jamal's jerk turkey. That's how we do it, all right? Now make sure y'all be careful if you try to jerk something, you could go blind.